Hey there, microphones and little gnomes. Little gnome, little gnome, little, little, little gnome, little gnome, little gnome. Gnomeo and Juliet, what a great movie. Wonder what it has on Rotten Tomatoes. Everybody, my name is John and welcome to ADITW, a day in the word, the internet's favorite Bible study. We're trucking right along through this first Kings thing, people. We are making moves. We are doing our work. We are living our best lives. Today we are in first Kings chapter four. And if you've looked at the chapter already, you know that verses one through 19, there, let's just say there's a lot of names. Let's just say I'm glad I don't have to take attendance in this class. But that doesn't mean we can't get something out of it. Really what we see here in 1 Kings chapter four, verses one through 19, is we see Solomon getting his team together. He's squatting up. And once again, if you were here last week, we looked at the story of Solomon receiving wisdom from God. And this is Solomon exercising his wisdom. He's surrounding himself with a team. His wisdom leads him to surround himself with good people. And in our reading today, we're gonna see that Solomon's responsibilities are growing to such a rate that he is pretty glad, I'm sure, that he has wisdom and a team on his side. Today, I want you to read 1 Kings chapter 4, verses 20 through 29. Read that for me right now. Okay, so in this passage, there are two things that I want us to notice. One thing right at the beginning and the other thing right at the end. In verse 20, it talks about how Solomon's people, the people that he was, he was leading, are as numerous as the sand on the seashore. Then, number two, skip down to verse 29. It said, God gave Solomon wisdom and very great insight and a breadth of understanding as measureless as the sand on the seashore. So what we see here is that Solomon had a responsibility that was as numerous as the sand on the seashore. And that responsibility, as numerous as the sand on the seashore, required wisdom as wide or as numerous as the sand on the seashore. And really what we're seeing here is that greater dominion requires greater discernment. And what I mean by that is your wisdom always needs to be as wide or wider than your responsibility. If your responsibilities are as numerous, like Solomon, are as numerous as the sand on the seashore, then you need at least as much wisdom as the sand on the seashore. Greater dominion requires greater discernment. And so the question I want you to ask yourself today is where is your responsibility wider than your wisdom? Where in your life do you actually feel like you have more responsibility than you have wisdom to deal with it? Where in your life do you feel like you need to be praying for greater discernment? Maybe it's with your family, maybe it's in your job or career, maybe it's at school, maybe it's in your marriage or dating relationship. Where do you want to be asking for God to give you greater discernment? And remember, like we talked about in previous weeks, wise people ask for wisdom. And we know from scripture that God is generous with giving us wisdom. I know for me, I spend a lot of time praying for greater dominion, that God would give me more subscribers, that God would give me more speaking engagements. But I don't spend as much time praying for God to give me greater discernment for God to give me greater wisdom with what to do and what to teach to those subscribers or within those speaking engagements. And so I know for me this week, that's what I'm gonna be praying for. I'm gonna be praying for greater discernment, for growing discernment with which to help me lead myself and lead this ministry as its dominion continues to get larger. That's what I'm gonna be praying for this week. And I'm also gonna be praying for you that God would reveal to you where exactly you are in need of greater discernment because he's blessing you by growing your dominion. Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching once again this episode of ADITW. I just wanna take a minute and really say thank you. I say thank you at the end of every episode, but I really do mean it. I love the fact that I get to do this work, that I get to share 
insights from scripture with you, and I hope that they are making a difference in your life. And so what I would love to hear today, I would love to hear how one thing from this First Kings study, how you have applied it to your life. That's what I wanna hear. And this is both for me to receive maybe some encouragement, but it's also to hold you all accountable. Because I know oftentimes I can just watch videos on YouTube or I can listen to sermons or I can read my Bible and then I don't go off and actually make any changes to my life. And so I wanna hear what changes have occurred in your heart, in your mind, and in your life as a result of this First Kings study. Please comment down below. Also, don't forget, if you believe in what this ministry is doing, please consider supporting us on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. That link can also be found in the description down below. That is all I have for you today. Please tune in next week as we continue our First Kings study. I love you all. Keep being awesome.